Welcome to the Carol Burnett Show, a classic TV series that left an indelible mark on the hearts of millions. If you've ever wondered what made this show a timeless favorite, you're in for a treat. No fancy language here, just the straight facts. First aired in 1967, this show quickly became a household name. With a blend of humor, shock, and moments that tug at your heartstrings, it's a roller coaster of emotions. Now, have you ever thought about a particular scene or moment that stayed with you long after the credits rolled? Keep watching, because there are plenty of funny, shocking, and even sad facts about to unfold. Maybe you remember the first time you stumbled upon this gem, a late-night laugh, or a lazy Sunday afternoon. What was it about the show that hooked you? Share your first encounter in the comments. As we delve into the memorable, there's one question we're itching to ask, what's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to the Carol Burnett Show? We'd love to hear your stories, the laughter, the tears, and everything in between. Drop them in the comments below. So, who can resist a journey down memory lane with this iconic TV series? Not us, and we're sure not you either. Get ready for some nostalgia, some surprises, and a whole lot of laughs. And as always, we're here for your stories. Share away your memories, make the magic last. Keep watching, keep commenting, and let the reminiscing begin. And remember, we're all ears for your tales. Debuting in 1967, the Carol Burnett Show left an enduring imprint on the cultural landscape, swiftly establishing itself as a household name. Its reception during that time was stellar, captivating viewers with a blend of humor, shock, and poignant moments that created a roller coaster of emotions resonating with millions. The impact on popular culture was palpable, with fans from all walks of life captivated by the show's charm. Its success led to a plethora of spin-offs, merchandise, and adaptations that follow Wood in its wake, further embedding its influence in the collective consciousness. Memorable scenes and moments became ingrained in the memories of the audience. Whether it was a late-night laugh or a lazy Sunday afternoon indulgence, it had a way of leaving an indelible mark on those who tuned in. The magnetic pull wasn't just in its comedic brilliance, but also in its ability to evoke genuine emotions, creating a connection that transcended the screen. The legacy endures through personal experiences, with fans cherishing the laughter, the tears, and everything in between. Nostalgia takes center stage as viewers reminisce about their first encounters with this iconic series. Its ability to evoke a range of emotions has become a testament to its timeless appeal. As its influence persisted, it paved the way for a legacy that extended beyond its original run. Spin-offs and adaptations ensured that it continued to shape the entertainment landscape, proving its lasting impact on the industry. In conclusion, The Carol Burnett Show remains a cultural touchstone, leaving an indelible legacy in the hearts of those who experienced its magic. The laughter, the tears, and the memories forged during its time continue to resonate, reminding us of the enduring power of quality entertainment. As we journey behind the scenes of the Carol Burnett Show's 1967 production, fascinating anecdotes and bloopers come to light, revealing the human side of this iconic series. Picture this amidst the laughter and scripted brilliance, the cast often found themselves caught in fits of uncontrollable giggles during filming. Carol Burnett, Tim Conway, Vicki Lawrence, and Harvey Korman in their comedic synergy created an atmosphere where hilarity ensued beyond the planned punchlines. One memorable incident involved Tim Conway's penchant for ad-libbing. Known for his improvisational prowess, Conway's unexpected comedic twists often left his co-stars struggling to maintain composure. In one instance, he took a simple dentist sketch and turned it into an uproarious spectacle, catching everyone off guard. The spontaneous, unrehearsed moments became treasured bloopers, showcasing the cast's genuine camaraderie. Behind the camera, the production team faced challenges too. The wardrobe team, responsible for the show's distinctive costumes, once encountered a mishap when a zipper malfunctioned just moments before a live taping. In a quick thinking move, the crew improvised, ensuring the wardrobe malfunction didn't derail the scene. Such tales of on-the-fly problem-solving added an extra layer of intrigue to the show's multifaceted production. Another behind-the-scenes gem involved the show's music director, Peter Matz, his creative brilliance extended beyond composing as he occasionally joined the cast in impromptu musical moments. These off-the-cuff performances, unseen by the TV audience, added an extra layer of joy for those present on set. While the on-screen chemistry was undeniably brilliant, off-screen friendships blossomed. The camaraderie between the cast and crew mirrored the warmth portrayed on the show. 
It wasn't just a job, it was a shared journey of creating something truly special. In the world of television, where perfection is often the goal, the Carol Burnett show embraced imperfections, turning them into cherished memories. These behind-the-scenes stories, filled with laughter, spontaneity, and genuine connections, further enhance the legacy of a show that continues to resonate with audiences today. One standout sketch that propelled the Carol Burnett show to legendary status is the Went With The Wind parody, a comedic take on Gone With The Wind. Widely regarded as one of the greatest sketches ever, it frequently appears on lists of the funniest shows of all time. A defining moment in the sketch occurs when Carol Burnett, descending the stairs at Tara, wears a dress made from green velvet drapes with the curtain rod still intact. The unexpected humor arose from costume designer Bob Mackey's decision to turn the original script's tossed curtains into an actual dress, leaving the hanger across Burnett's shoulders. Ironically, this joke dress became Mackey's signature piece, displayed in the Smithsonian, overshadowing his other glamorous creations for celebrities over the years. In the family sketches, Carol Burnett, as Eunice, consistently sported a print dress with an interesting history. The dress, a genuine vintage garment from the 1930s, was initially a long, sleeveless evening dress discovered by costume designer Bob Mackey in a thrift shop. Altered for the sketch's Tennessee Williams-inspired style, Mackey shortened the dress and created the distinctive capelet top detail from surplus fabric. Despite acquiring numerous tears over the years, Burnett insisted on wearing the original, even after Mackey replicated it with similar fabric. The dress, though fragile, held sentimental value and a touch of superstition for Burnett. Notable for his mastery of accents, Harvey Corman played a pivotal role behind the scenes by teaching Vicki Lawrence the nuances of different accents on the show. His expertise in this area contributed to the show's comedic depth, showcasing the collaborative efforts among the cast members. These anecdotes offer a glimpse into the creative process and unexpected turns that shaped the Carol Burnett show, highlighting the innovative choices of its cast and crew. From iconic sketches to wardrobe mishaps and behind-the-scenes camaraderie, the show's legacy endures, etched in the memories of its dedicated audience. It's a testament to the enduring power of quality entertainment that transcends generations. During the 1967 production of this TV series, Tim Conway's penchant for improvisation brought an unexpected twist to its dynamics. His spontaneous ad-libs often led to uncontrollable laughter among the cast, particularly Harvey Corman. These off-script moments where they broke character became a hallmark of the show. In 1973, during its sixth year, Vicki Lawrence, a versatile talent, achieved a billboard record with the night the lights went out in Georgia. Surprisingly, many viewers were unaware that the same Vicky who graced the show with her comedic prowess was the voice behind this hit. Remarkably, she joined the series at just 18 years old, showcasing her early talent and becoming an integral part of its success. The behind-the-scenes camaraderie extended beyond the cast's on-screen performances. Tim Conway's improvisational genius not only brought laughter, but also created a genuine connection among the cast and crew. The unexpected bloopers, such as Conway turning a simple dentist sketch into uproarious chaos, showcased the camaraderie that defined its production. Meanwhile, Vicki Lawrence's dual role as a singer and actress added a layer of surprise for fans. Her billboard success highlighted the multifaceted talents hidden within the ensemble. As she belted out chart-topping hits, viewers marveled at the depth of talent within the show. An interesting tidbit from the early days of the show is that Vicki Lawrence started her journey with it at just 18 years old. This added a unique dynamic to the cast as her youthful energy blended seamlessly with the more seasoned performers. In conclusion, the 1967 production was marked by the spontaneous brilliance of Tim Conway and the hidden talents of Vicki Lawrence, creating a timeless legacy that continues to resonate with audiences today. Laughter, camaraderie, and unexpected surprises behind the scenes enriched its narrative, making it a cherished part of television history.